for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got an update video for you guys today. Today, I'm be going over the player ranks update and also a uh, little bit of a su surprise mini update that happened if you play Madden Ultimate Team, uh, which is something that uh, actually might bring a lot of people. I'm sure it's designed to bring a lot of people into playing Ultimate Team that probably don't typically play it. Uh, but before I get into the video, as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, Woo! please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Now, getting right into it, the Ultimate Team update uh, was actually uh, based off of Mutt Draft, which is a game mode that when it first came out was very popular. And I'm going to be honest with you, it was one of my more personal favorite game modes based off the fact that if you're not really a Mutt player, you can hop into this game mode if you don't have a very good team, especially this time of year where a lot of people, I've seen people already have 99 overall players and stuff like that uh, based off of team cams and whatnot. So if you're not really uh, that, you know, into actually... Um, you know, building a team or you're way behind like a lot of people will be when Christmas comes, you know, a lot of people will get it at Christmas time. Uh, you can hop right in and just play, uh, you know, play Mud Draft and build your team that way. Although I'm not really sure based off of what type of rewards you're going to get from that because I know a lot of the rewards have been nerfed from previous years and other modes. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's still a fun mode and you can hop in and it has like players from the current uh, Zero Chill promo in it. Uh, and, you know, it's just been updated with, I think, up to 300 players, which is really cool. So I'm sure I'm going to hop in and play that a little bit. Because, like I said, that was always one of my favorite game modes. I really don't like... I'm to that point where I'd rather spend more time uh, making videos than actually building my Mutt team. Uh, which is something that uh, is one of the reasons you haven't seen a lot of Mutt content from me this year in the past. Every year in the past, I've, I've done Mutt content. This year has been really not a lot at all, uh, based off of several factors. Mostly because, um, you know, I just... I just the, the mode to me... Does doesn't seem nearly as inventive as it has in the past. You play Mutt for so many years, eventually it just feels like a lot of the same uh, stuff. So with that out of the way, that's the only really update outside of um, the actual player ratings updates, uh, which is something that I'm going to go over now. I'm going to start off where I always do, which is going to be Jalen Hurts on Jalen Hurts Watch. Uh, as once again, Jalen Hurts did not get an upgrade on ratings. Uh, and that's something that, um, you know, when I go over some of the players that did get updates on ratings, uh, guys like Patrick Mahomes, who's one of the highest rated guys to get uh, an update, he got a one point uh, boost to a 98. When people look at the, uh, the current MVP race, um, the really only three, four names that come up, they're all quarterbacks. Uh, Jalen Hurts is by far and away the lowest rated out of all of them. Patrick Mahomes, is, is he, I just said he went up a point. He's down to, now to a 98. Uh, Josh Allen, I think, is went up a point. He's to a 94. I think Joe Burrow is like a 91 or 92, but I'm not really sure. Um, those are like the three other MVP candidates other than Jalen Hurts. And then you have a lowly rated Jalen Hurts at an 85, uh, which, you know, he didn't have his best week last week during, uh, you know, the Bears game where he got injured. Uh, but he did have every single touchdown that the Eagles scored, including a two-point conversion. And he also had just under 400 yards of total offense. You know, but the two interceptions, I'm sure, will get the most headlines because that was really one of the things that he's been known for not doing the most. So despite having a solid game, and being way underrated compared to all these other um, players, all these other quarterbacks. Uh, I mean, he is, aside from the fact that he's not playing this week, Gardner Mitch is starting. He is right now, if the season started, he would probably win the MVP award. And he's only an 85. For, for context, players like Matt Milano, who I'm sure... 99% of the people that just that are listening to this don't even know who Matt Milano is. He's an 85 overall. You know, I, mean? I know who Matt Milano is, but do you? You know, that's the best the point. Like most people don't know who Matt Milano is, but they know who Jalen Hurts is. So the fact that they're the same rated player, I mean, do you think that Matt Milano is having the same impact as a linebacker on the Bills as Jalen Hurts is having as a quarterback on the Eagles? But I guess we'll find out this week because Gardner Minshew is starting. It's going to be interesting to see if he, you know, if they roll the same way and they just walk over the Cowboys or something. That's going to be a really interesting storyline, uh, you know, finishing out the season. So that's pretty much it for Jalen Hurts' watch. Um, we're going to go ahead and move on to some of the uh, the bigger star name players that are moving up moving down. There's a lot of star players that are moving up. Guys like Travis Kelsey, who just got a plus one. He is now a 99 overall. He joins the 99 club again, although he probably should have never left it. I don't know why he did. Uh, I think he leads the league in touchdown catches, but I'm not really sure. Definitely worth a 99 overall at this point. One of the most consistent tight ends as far as receiving in history. Uh, probably should have never fell off in the first place. Patrick Mahomes, I already mentioned, he's back up to a 98. He'll probably hit a 99 if he continues uh, playing. 
playing the way that he is. And then Justin Jefferson, another plus one. This guy is on pace right now to break the receiving uh, yards record in the NFL. Uh, and if he has a couple of good weeks, maybe he cracks 2,000, which would be insane. He's up to 97. I'm sure if he continues that, he'll get 99 with no problem. George Kittle, um, he's, uh, you know, this is an interesting one to be. He's a plus one to a 96. Definitely a great player. He's always been one of my favorite players. He just hasn't really produced like he has in the past based off of that. I don't know if the offense doesn't really require it, but he had a good game last week, so they gave him a one-point bump. Um, I mean, he, I just don't know if he's the same guy that he was years ago when he was just, you know, putting up monster numbers. Because he isn't really doing that this year, but he's been out. He's been injured so much, it's really hard for him to have that opportunity. Josh Allen, like I mentioned, he's plus one up to a 94. Uh, you know, there's a guy, I think he topped out at a 95. Wouldn't mind seeing him go back up to that. Justin Simmons, plus one to a 93. I think he's the highest rated safety in the game. No real argument there. Jesse Bates, though, right on his heels. He got a plus one up to a 92. Uh, the, 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 or the, um, the defense for the Bengals is a, a lot better than people really know. Uh, I think that they, to me, they've got to be the Super Bowl favorite to, get, to come out of the AFC, to, to go to the Super Bowl. Um, I know they're not getting that type of press. I know that uh, the you know the the Chiefs probably are, maybe the Bills. I really, if if, if I had to take a team right now, I'd definitely take the Bengals. Um, and I probably would have been saying that for a couple weeks now. Saquon Barkley plus one to a 92. Not really sure what he did last week. I know he didn't do much against the Eagles at all, but he also didn't really play much at all. Denzel Ward plus one to a 91. Joel Petonio plus one to a 91. And Demario Davis gets a plus two to a uh, a 90 overall. That's the highest plus anybody's got it. I think he just made the Pro Bowl as well, so good for him. A lot of these guys I'm going to mention based off of their Pro Bowl status, I'm going to use that as like a reference point as well. Patrick Sertain, up to a 90 overall, definitely deserving, one of the best cornerbacks in the league. Creed Humphrey, plus one to an 89, one of the best centers in the league, also made a Pro Bowl, both of those guys did. Andrew Thomas, plus one to an 88 overall. Brian O'Neill, plus one to an 87. Chardavis Ward, plus one to an 86. And Kyle Duggar, plus one to an 86. So Chardavis Ward and Kyle Duggar, both better than Jalen Hurts, as far as EA is concerned by a whole point. So now to the going down pile. We have Mark Andrews is the highest rated player going down. He is losing a point down to 95 overall. I don't know why. Demarcus Lawrence, minus a point down to 91 overall. He just made the Pro Bowl, by the way, which I didn't really understand. Only has six sacks. Has, has had a really good year. I know not everything shows up on the, on the box score. But um, to make it with just six sacks this late in the year for a defensive end when that's probably the most important thing just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, Jonathan Taylor, he's dropped probably the most out of any player in the league. He's down to a 91, start of the year like a 95, I think. Um, so negative one overall, Jonathan Taylor. He's definitely going to end the year in a down note as far as EA is concerned. Justin Tucker, another guy who just seems like he's always on the, the going down list for some reason. He's down to a 91 uh, minus a point. Jordan Poyer, um, you know, he's down to a 90 uh, minus one point. Tom Brady, falling out of the 90 category. He's at 89 overall now, uh, which is something that, you know, I've been saying for a while, he probably should be even lower. If you look at the Bucks, they have a bottom five offense, and it's mostly because of him. There's not a lot of other players on that offense, as you could point out. The offensive line's pretty good. Uh, the receivers are still really good. Uh, they have good running backs. I mean, tight end's not really that great, but, you know, other than that, I mean, the quarterback position's got to be the biggest issue. I know he doesn't turn the ball over, but he's mostly just taking check downs of the running backs most of the time, so it's kind of hard to do that. And then last but not least, not a lot of going downs this week. Last but not least, we have Adrian Amos, who got a negative one down in 86. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want me to continue this series, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I'm going to take a second to wish you guys a happy holiday because I'm not going to release another video until after Christmas. So, Merry Christmas to you guys. Uh, you know, Happy New Year. I'm sure I'll have some videos out before then. But still, uh, enjoy your holidays. Have a safe and uh, happy holiday with your families because, you know, that's the most important thing. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.